Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Um, so I was doing a little snooping on the Susan Morphew case and realized how sad this missing persons flyer was. I mean, it, it really honestly looks like somebody made this and thought to themselves, oh God, please don't look for Susan Morphew if you're asking me, I'm just saying. I have got another uh, missing persons uh, flyer here for an example, I don't know who this girl is or anything about a case. I just know that this is what a missing persons flyer should look like. It should say she was last seen on whatever date she was last seen. It should say her name, what county she's in, what state she's in. You know, it should say brown hair, blue eyes, 5'3", was her height, her weight's 120 pounds, what clothing she had on. And I noticed in the circumstances with the Nicole um, flyer that it said that Nicole was last seen on a Tuesday, November the 26th, 2019. She sent a text from one of her daughters saying she was leaving for a few hours, but then she never returned. And you can read the rest because I've got another example that's coming up of this girl right here uh, that's named Nicole. And I just kind of wanted everybody to look at it and realize that Susan Morphew is being wronged right now by her missing persons flyer. If she's in danger right now, we need to know what she looks like. We need to know, a, a, you know, how to contact the police and tell them that we think we may have found her if we do see her, you know. And although this girl has only one picture on her flyer too, but, you know, like, I don't know. It just seems off that Susan Morphew flyer doesn't seem right. And, you know, I understand that Lori Vallow's kids have probably been found and the remains have probably been found on Chad Daybell's, you know, property. And it's tragic, it's, it's really bad, it's upsetting. But at the same time, at least we can get justice now and those remains have been found. We haven't found out if they're the kids or not, but it's been said that it probably is so we have to it's up to the world and it's up to us to keep Suzanne Morphew's name out there and aware others that she's missing and kind of provide some information for people so you know if she she is seen or spotted somewhere that somebody can call the tip line and say hey I think we've seen her you know and I think by looking at that flyer, you know, that somebody has really failed at trying to find Susan Morphew. Am I crazy or do y'all agree? I mean, what's your thoughts? You can leave a comment below and tell me, but I really think that it, we should get the word out and let everybody know she's still missing.